Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Cruz are back for another NHL 24 of Season 3. As of right now, we are here for our next game. And that's right, if you all remember here for the last game, it's a great start for the Arizona Coyotes to have that strong start to beat over against the St. Louis Blues. Had to have a great timing out there as for Connor Ingram had wild saves. The ability of the run is to turn out to make it an unbelievable moment. And you can't just really say how well he does, it's because of how much he has done for his game. Yeah, it's totally right. Right now, this next matchup, we're about to be seeing our next face-off in between USA versus the Canadian team. We're about to find out another Western Conference to give that one a roll-off start. It's the Avalanche facing against the Winnipeg Jets. Now, as we go over here to start on the Colorado side, this is what definitely gets their attention up as we are going right from in between from the upper column to start with. Nathan McKinnon has gotten a one release after an ankle breaker, but now it's unstoppable force. The last time he was making a great deck of a higher speed, he also makes a great ankle breaking control and try to put a trick on the move right on the defender. It's tough now because it's an unstoppable force. He has a new strength to go with the other side of the look. And yes, that's what we're definitely looking for. All eyes on the cannon, watch out. Then we have his Kale McCarr. He has an elite edges that he will take over the elite agil agility and direction changes. He might have some a little bit of a hard recipients that might be going in between, but we might have to find out what goes with the next. And finally, we have his Miko Rantanen. He has a snipe. It's always an Ely puck settling, but he does for his goal ultimate way so he can do. Tough one that you can always say, but it's a lot that hard. When you pick up a snipe, go for the fling of a switch. On the other side right now, for the Winnipeg Jets, we're about to be seeing one of the, one of the best ones here in this game. Kyle O'Connor. The wheels. Ely skate puck thing with the set. And as for right at this moment, he skates fast enough pretty hard. But most of the time of his goal, he might have to keep it going if he wants to get right into the wheels. Just like Kempe and other guys as well. Fast on wheels does have it all for the change out that we are looking for. And I might say this, if he gets it done right away, he soon he might be able to put a speed force right towards the end of the game. And that might be true. And on the other side is Connor Hellebuck, the starting goaltender for the Winnipeg Jets, and Alexander Georgiev for the Colorado side. He has his dial in to make a maximize saves when he's on a roll. It always turns out that he's all crazy enough to have the timing right. And because of all that happens, he never goes the same thing like everybody else does to get dialed in just like Markstrom. Well, there's a lot of a couple goaltenders that could be saving up wild for the big tonight. And we might be finding out who can definitely take it over for anyone else's game. It's a tough one you call. Nobody can get away with that. And now let's send you down to Winnipeg as we're about to be seeing the next commentary. We have this boomer along with light bulb and the center ice, it's wood scooting. We'll be back with the with the final statistics scores and finally with ultimate of three star players of the game and now let's get into this next matchup guys it's all yours let's go hey everybody it's boomer and we are here at canada life century the home of the winnipeg jets to face against the other team of america the avalanche with me, Light Bulb and Wood Spoonie, this is NHL on EA Sports. Puck drop, and we are ready. Starting goaltenders in between Connor Hellebuck and Alexander Giorgia. Ready to go. Kicks the puck over, and now Morrissey will have that one here and bound it. The Chips are on its way down into the offensive zone. Connor finds again to DeMello, and now finds Appleton. Appleton went down. Right behind it is Skyfella. 
on a backhand. Big Buck scores. Hey, if they're not going to get that kind of ball, I'm going to say what's going to happen now. Let's watch that again. I think he was out there just that close. It's going to be a close call. I, I think this one's going to be a deflection in there. I don't think he can get there that far. Let's see what they say. And they said it is a goal. So that will put a first goal of the night for Kyle Connor. And you always spot that replay. I have to say that Kyle Connor just got a really good goal to take that one in there. He didn't get near to Creason. I'm guessing that it was a tough call, but great rebound. That counts in for a goal. So an excellent start here for right now as the Connors has gotten his first goal against the Caval the Cavalanche of the Avalanche run to start off in the season. Here's Connor, right? Find Sky Fellow, and now DeMello will have the puck here rebounding. Find Sky Fellow. With the shot! Hold it up with Jai Brogia with a save. And that now it's only 18-23 to go in the first period. Both players are set, ready to take the face off into the offensive zone. A starting run turns to be a 1-0 lead for the Winnipeg Jets. Here's McCarr, he will have the puck here right down in the range, and Ebon founds the Chushkin. Lost the puck, and Perfetti will have the puck here bound. Back to the Jets side in the Colorado territory. And we got a boarding call, this will be on Colorado for their first major penalty. It's a full curriculum, they're not going to get that easy enough. But you don't want to make that one feel that possible enough if you're going to board it right in between the boards. That's going to be a hard one to maintain. Block the shot. It's beyond. On full pressure. Looks it over again. Sender shot. Gloved it up by Giorgio. And they're going to get the call with the boarding. And two minutes goes to Ryan Johansson. Yeah, Johansson's not really always the biggest enough here. I have to tell you, he's already way too much about it right now. is ready to start here for Winnipeg Jets. First time here for the night here in season number three as we start here for the puck drop. And with that one, it will take it over. The Trider takes the puck away. Nice take and bound. Schmidt finds again the Piaf. We'll have time to readjust it again. And now he goes back to Appleton. Appleton. We're back to Schmidt. Over again to Piaf. Looks at Schmidt. He finds Appleton. Shoots the range. That's on the goaltender stick. Schmidt right over again to Appleton. On right side. Took a total hit right from here. Not at all. He scores. That's the first look for the Dreider. It's a power play goal for the Jets. I know that the Dreader was able to do that one, but his fancy moves comes in true between. He goes right with the crazy motion. Just goes around here, running blind in the goaltender right away. He has it really amazed. I have to say, it is a tough one to be honest right now. Really cool. The second goal puts up here for the Winnipeg Jets 2-0 over the Colorado Avalanche as a start run has been taken away. The other hand has been turning out to be one of the best of the game by Connor Hullabuck. Kyle Connor. Only the two players have been boundable to be enough to play it, play it all and go for the takedown. It's a lot of strength. They really enjoyed it. The Jets are now back in the offensive zone. Kapari into the corner. He finds Peru. Kick the buck over to get to Sandberg and now finds Pionk. Pionk gets stumbled out. What a great hit, hit for Wood. Pucks it away. Now the Jets will have it back. Winnipeg up into the, into the spot. Sandberg fires the puck around again, and Kupari will have it. Kupari, unable to get the puck reach. Duran finds Boran, now finds McKinnon. McKinnon over again. DeMello with the puck steal. Kupari over again to Lowry. Lowry, pass again, out of reach to I follow. DeMello with the puck, and now finding the end of the third trader. Diagonal pass. Off again. Lowry picks it up. He gives it back to high follow. Behind the cage. Looks again to Nidrenner. Great puck movement here for the Jets moving back and forth. They really need that one anyway. 
Throwing in passes again over and out to McKinnon. Takes it away. The driver with the puck. The offense is picking up steam right into the offensive zone, and now I follow will have the puck. Sandberg finds DeMillo. Shooting for DeMillo. Blocked away. Sandberg over to get a high follow. Good takedown, and Dronin will have it back. Here's another one for Dronin and Colorado back in the territory. Here's the back. Colorado Mello with C. That'll be the first one to start up for tonight. Here's Toes right from the outside of a range. That's blocked up. Johansson. Rebound stop. Johansson. Oh, another big save here by Elba. Oh, I already got the save. This is a very little technically honest to make that one out of move. With nowhere to go in behind, it's a tough one to stay out. Johansson has a bucket in bounding, now finding it again. Here's Lincoln. Right in the middle. We'll hold the puck here for a hell of a Just 11.45 to go in the first period. It's a lot of hard challenging. Ranging out, it's very not good. Take it away from me. Players are set, ready to take the face-off draw puck. The Jets will have that pack on defense, and that gloved it up by Connor Hullabuck. Now it gets off to Appleton. The fires look like a round of net. Seifeller went down. Manson back away. Here's Nick Chushka. Looks it over. Connor takes it back. Stick with the move. Finds Appleton. Over the outside of Smith. Gets off to Kyle Connor and it goes over again to Manson with the puck. Take away with the steal. Now finds Lepernan. Colorado back in the offensive zone. Nichushkin! Oh man, that's a close call. Connor puts it up again. In the corner right now with 10 15 left to go. And he went shovel down. That take over defensive offense, I had to say this is, is a very uh, hard and take away with the play. Nothing you can't just get over this. You don't want to get that one out of here. I just had to say he was stifled down. He went with a slash shot. Take away from it. Do you want that? Here's Kupari back over again to Dylan. Jets back into the another uh, passing zone. Kupari shot. Over again. Schmidt stopped by Georgiev. Georgiev really got that one really hard save. Put that inbound. Don't get away with that. Here's another one for Kupari. And right now it's a full pressure. Takes a Smith right behind Dylan. Dylan shot. Out of the way here by Georgiev. And now it will take it back as Olafsson will have it recovered. Now, gives off to O'Connor. O'Connor, getting put through the liver zone. And he got a penalty call. This will be a major tripping here on Gustafsson. It's not always that impressible, and it's not a great way to do this. I say that Gustafsson just didn't really get that one really well. That turned to be a blade kick out of your life. The Colorado Avalanche will have their start here for the penalty kill here for a power play, and they will have that start here. Only another face-off wins, nothing to give out. And Appleton, here he comes. He's going to take it away. Breakaway, Terry. Oh, he went too close to the goalie, and the defender got him. Well, he wasn't really ready. I just didn't see what was going to happen right now. You know, it was a very tough one, to be honest with you, there, Boomer, because there was a lot of major killers that they really wanted to take it away. Shot stopped again here by Byron. The Avs will have their pack, pack with possession right into the play inbound. Buck lost it. That leaves out of the zone. And here comes Lowry. We'll have it taken down. Sure handed to take away. Shoots. Oh, he just didn't get right enough in time. And he's going to have to hold up with the puck. Oh, close call. I never seen what was going on like that. But that was a lot of killer. Right now, as if Nathan McKinnon has an unstoppable force, he will have that one to take his ability. His power play is a takeaway to make the defenseman out of it to have his own goods. Connor Hedlebuck is a one dialed in to have it all confectionary down. He is a major goaltender and have it all down and have it all amountable. He's tough for real, guys, as I will be keeping eyes on those two between for the power play and pressure for Colorado and for the defensive lockdown for the Jets. Back to you, Puma. He's McKenna right towards again. Nice stop here by Nemeskov. Jorgia has it covered down. Fires away, now finds McKenna. 
Looks to Colton. 15 seconds for the power play for the Colorado Avalanche. It's stopped again. Take it away here by Hellebuck. Looks like he's ready to get back out there on ice. Power play's over. As right now, they're back in with no scores here in the power play for Colorado. It's a tough way to say this one here. I have to tell you now, because of a lot of major offsets, have been turning out one by one. Nobody had that one right away, so there's a lot of great defensemen that they were putting up at risk. They've done a very much better than playing here with a lot of offense. They're trying to get over this one here as best as they can. He's high follow, you will have that puck. Right around the net, and score! That's three in a row for the Jets' goal. I follow has that goal. That's his ninth in the game. It's I follow has it all. He made that same thing just like a Dryder does. And when he goes around it, he did the same thing just like he does. I just have to say, it was a clear make to have that goal taken back one. I follow had a lot of major credit here, and so has the Dryer had that one inbound. Uh, because of his puck zone, he went in from swivel left to right. He had that one right in between from right to left in the opposite direction. He started out there big there, guys. I follow was looking for his goal without the Kings to make that one feel out pleasure. Take it from here, back from upstairs to Buma. Ever little at all, he was ready to take his timing, but that's right now, Jorgen has it. Now to set, ready to take the face off here in the Colorado Territory. Now he's the wing here as Toes will have the fucking bound. Finds the car. Looks over again to Lekkonen. Covered up. He's the Bari right back on the other side. And now Dylan will have it inbounding by Barron. Fires it and carries it right into the gun system. Checks back on the offensive zone. Trying to pick up another help. Dylan passes over to Smith. In the middle! Take the rebound, and it's stopped by a ghost, by, uh, by Georgiev, excuse me. There's a little bit of correction out there. <laughs> you know, good, good, good count correction we made. Oh, that was a huge save. Taking it over again, and under, as another save by Connor Hellaba. Barroon goes down. Tries to hang on with the puck. Now finds Skyfell. Make the move with the backhand. Makar blocks a shot. Pulling right toward the way. Oh! That's a heavy hit. The make down the bash out it goes. I say that the Jet was putting up with a crash on Avalanche. He says, ready or not, here comes the fight. And he did. No stick lifting calling up. And then a shot again. That's your year with another save. He has toes right back to Wood. Another one for Guitar right from the outside. And Colorado in the Winnipeg zone. New June group in the changeup as I follow will have the puck with only 2.10 to go. Here's Lowry will have the bucket right in outside. Now find Samberg. McKinnon. All alone in the racing over to the goaltender. Shoots! Stopped by Hellebuck. Samberg. Take it away with the defender. Lowry will have it back in. Now I follow back into the offensive zone for the Colorado Territory. Looks away to Lowry. That shot went blocked. It's a lot of hard defensemen take. Can't get away with this one too quick. Lowry has it back with the puck, and now over here to Ayafala with one minute remaining. Three out of zero goals made, and it turned out that quick right now to start with the first period. Exactly. I know this was a very tough to say, but Canadian teams have a lot of higher range of bounding than, American, than the USA teams because they have a little bit of overrated to do that one, a lot of big moments. They went to the playoffs here last season, and, they, and they're thinking they want to do it again. Austin alone! Good defender take by DeMello. Last seconds, and Eller closed the gap, and will carry it out. And so, that's the end of the first period. Three goal major careers, Myrtle Jets. We'll see when the next one comes in when we come back after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right with you shortly after this. Welcome back to Canada Life Center. As right now, we're about to start the second period. And we're about to get start things up as the Avalanche is on their way to make another win. 
It's a great way to make that one start with the connection here in the first period. Let's go to the you Life Ball with how they did. There's a lot of a great excitation. I just really love seeing it. It's a lot of it, the hustle and movement. Great communication in between with those two. They really have done the best. They were doing a lot of focusing right in between the two players. This is all that they have done. Have coincidence? They really are tough to be honored, and I really love the hustling and bounding. They've done a lot of uh, passing in between inbounds and then try to stop a defender right in with a puck take. They've done a really a lot of great job with that work. Here's Sky Fellow, he has that bucket right down here and he finds Connor. Connor looking over to Peon. Sandberg, fire the shot, take the rebound, and stop by Georgia. Had that one a very close call at that point, but it still holds on. Yeah, it's quite to say. I mean you get you can't just really say that it was all that bad enough to get away with that. And the winner comes in for toes, and right now the car has the puck. He now has it over to the X Ellis. The Jets are back into the full pressure with the steam. Sandberg passes, shot, stopped by Georgia. Here's McCarr right down again, and the Chushkin will have it puck right into the center of the boards. Full pressure coming into Hansen, shot, great stop away here by Hullabell. Winnipeg back into the offensive zone, going back to work. Namzikov, right to Namzenberg to Pion. Pion goes back, now it's back again to Pion. Leckerden takes a buck steal. He's now able to take his own, own time, now finds Gerard. Gerard passed to Byram. Nichushkin has a fucking cover. From the corner, taken away as Pion passes the cover. Across the line, Sandberg. Give the puck over to Perfetti. Over and out of Lowry, shot, stopped away here by Georgiev. He got a great muscle out of it. He's turned out that big. Every time you know a Georgiev has got a big reaction, he just couldn't believe it that he was doing not a lot of saves this one. I love to say we see what the hustle does in bounding. He got him grand. Pass back to Dylan and now finds him again. A smith shot, stopped away by Georgiev. And now Tatar will have the bucket on the offensive side, now finds Wood. The Avalanche are back in his own territory, Alabama with a good save. He'll hold the puck here with only 15.07 to go in the second period. Still a lot of time left here, no goals for the Avalanche, but only three for Winnipeg and the Jets. Turn out to just like that, they want to do it. Slam it away, stop by behind by Alabama. Mitch Ryder over now to Ayafello. On his way down to his pressure zone. The pass, miscommunication right down into Lowry and now find Schmidt. Schmidt, back pass, can't get it to go. Drone in will have the puck in carry. Global down, great defensive stop for the Jets. It's a lot of great pressure, but you can't just really say that it was very awesome as is. They were doing a lot much better than they did with the offensive side. They just have to keep on going and then find what you're looking for. Just try to close out the man. Don't even try to make a hook on the call, but this is a lot of great exercising that they have done with their, with their scrimmage. That's what they've done with this game. You make that practice in preseason and then before getting back in a game, they love to hear that. Shy fella right into the center of the court. Here's Appleton right down here for the right side, and Jamala will have it over again to Morsi. Morsi shot, taking it to big here, and it's another huge stop by the defender of Iram. Iram has the puck. Chefs go back into the offensive zone. They will have to take it away from the Avalanche zone. Here's Connor on his way down. Fast on the wheels. Out of, way, out of the way and back to Cogliano. He now goes to Olafsson right towards the other side. Carry it from the puck zone. They're now behind the net in a, in a cage. Samberg. Pass disconnected. O'Connor, that's also taken away, and now the Jets are on it. There's a lot of it big passable, and they just really got to watch out for that. Nemstikov, bounces bang right into the boards. He now rolls over again to Cogliano, and now back towards the other side, moves it, scribbles around, Samberg with a puck. Now finding control of Ellers. Ellers deep, not away this time, oh man! 
man, I'm not sure you've seen how that one coming. It's close now. I never seen what was going on like this, but you can never just say that it was a lot of the biggest, the biggest shot out there. Long distance to that. Great huge save here by the goaltender of the Bucks. Morrissey fires it across. Now Ellers is right through the corner. Finds Gustafson, and we'll have to give it off to DeMello. Over now to Gustafson. Keeping the puck alive. Morrissey back again to DeMello. Behind the cage. Disconnected with the pass as McCarr takes it over. Matryushkin back over again to the offensive side. Passing the midway mark of the period. Morrissey got it that time. We got a new line change here. Kupari takes it over. Oh, he went fumble down that hard. That's a lot of the major hits. No matter how much you do, you just take them out right away. That is a lot of hits. From corner blank. Taken away by Dillens. Nick Ryder give off to Gustafson. Now entering the zone in, into the uh, Avs territory. Shoots again and scores! The Av extension run. He now has second goal of the season. I know that Gustafson was doing really well. If you can't get away with this because you could just make that S move with the curve bank, he blanked it right in front of a goaltender. And that's where it comes at. You just got to make that one quick. I love that hustle. It's going inbounding. The Jets have extension now with a 4-0 lead series in the second period. No score for the Avalanche as they are already been shutting down here in the first period. But looking to get it back. Good takeaway on the crouch down for Dylan. A big save here by Hellebuck. Here's I follow. He's all alone. 2-0-1. Oh, he just lost that puck right away and now finds Schmidt. It's almost making that misconnection feed. Not just really handling the pressure. I mean, you just can't get away with that. Lowry finding it again. Lost the puck in control, and now the Dryder will have that puck kicked over. I follow. Battling for the board is Colton taken away, and now Wood is back onto it. Good takeaway here. Nick Dryder. Johnson has it back in Wood with the offensive board. Two on one on the pass. One timer made a stop made by Hulba. And we got a delay penalty call. We got a holding roughness, and that's going to be on the abs. Yeah, it's not very that excellent what they were doing because they just can't just get away with that. You're never going to make that succeed one count. Lowry shot. Hit it away from the target angle. Ellers will have to regroup here. Nothing yet. That's right now they're on full pressure. Sandberg shot. Hit it off the stick. And then staying in that call, it's now time for another power play. Miles Wood into the penalty box. It will be a power play coming up for the Jets. Right now, they're back in to do this again. The Jets already have made that one a first power play goal in the first period, but looking to get another one for the second period. The win comes in, and the Trushka will have it carried out. In full pressure, Steen finds McCall. McCall finds Olafson. Good use of the reach here, as now Kyle Connor has it back. Gets pumped up again. McCarr has the puck here down, right over again to Toes. Toes in the center of the rink. And it's Paulson offside. It's a big bang. I just have to say that it was a hard smack bang. You just didn't really notice that Kyle Cotter was going to get there that fast. The unstoppable force and the other team of the, of the flying wheels are just going by. Now he's in our one new for Lekkonen. Pass the McKinnon shot, went around it, and had that goal back. That will be their shorthanded for McKinnon. 285 goals in this game. He just made that one slight and easy move motion. He just lost the puck, but his puck went in. If this creation comes up like this, it just went on puck on string like for Nathan McKinnon. He was able to do that. Went right around it, and he got it. 
a shocking disappointed run as right now it is the 4-1 game as the Avalanche are swinging by three. Now with the win, here's Sherrod, he finds Manson. Manson finds Sherrod and now again to McKinnon. Oh, he just didn't get banged up again. Oh, he just went with that hit. But the puck goes over the net and out of play. Still a lot of time left in this period. It is still 4-1 in this game as the Jets are currently up by three. Here's an R1 here. I follow. We'll have that back. Nobody can't get over it. Battling taking a loose puck across against the boards. And Ellers now back into the app territory. Here they come. Shot block and denied. Here's Connor. He will have that own time to make that one and more suggested. Morrissey as the puck wings out. And pass is broken up. Manson fires out. Looks like he's almost ready to get out there and go back down the range. Power play as it's expired. Only one short-handed goal for the Avs as right now they have 4-1 game from Nathan McKinnon. They really are doing a lot of off targets in this one. I can definitely tell this is a very tough and time of aggression. They just didn't really have much time to think about that one right away. He scores! There's the deflection! And now it turned to be a 5-1 game. I follow that second goal of enough. I follow never seen what was going. He gave it an off that quickly, and there is the flector. All the way from the backhand, he just really didn't see it. Great blind by the goaltender. You can definitely just tell what it was coming at. They love it. I have to say, Alex I follow has an ability to maintain this pressure run. Getting away with this one, and then had the power play goal to have it all down. They just didn't really say that they didn't get the power play that much, but it was back into the regular period of the gun. This one's turning out that crazy, guys, as right now we'll keep your eyes steady here for another player to get back on the game. I'll be watching on i follow with this for a goal. Back to you. Gubari with the puck and now finds Sandberg over again to Beyond. Beyond lost the puck and now Droll and will have it back. As they're back into the offensive zone, into the Jets' territory. The Stronin! Hell of a with the save! Just only 2.18 left to go, and it's a 5-1 game. They've been on fire here for tonight. Already, like, the extreme pressure, and they're already racing down towards to the next round. Here's the win. Right now, here's like an end on, on his backhand. Got a good stop out of it for Hellebuck. Winnipeg into the offensive zone by Colorado. Maroon rebounds the puck. Takes the puck away. Lekkonen will have it back. Nobody picking an offensive here on this one. Now back here away is Johansson. Taking it back the airway. Looks it over again to Perfetti. Off again to Kabari. Pass again to Perfetti. We are down to a final minute to remain in the second period, as right now it is coming to a 5-1 game. Looks to Nichushkin, Lekunen, almost going to make the block, but that, that one saved out. Nemestikov, oh yeah, into the right side. Oh, he went down! The bang hard, it's just like keeping it going. It's a lot of avalanche swiping out the Jets already. they just really saying that this is a lot of good courage defense to try to stop them. Here's Ellers with the puck. Time to be down as right now they're trying to pick something else out. Pass. Dylan with the shot. Oh, big save. No put back goal in. And there is your second horn. We will be right back with the first. Awesome play by iFollow. And we'll get you that one here for the next one after this. And we are ready. The third period is about to begin. Here at Canada Light Century in Winnipeg. Let's do this. The last period is where we all come down for for the end, and that's where will be the finish here in the regulation period. We love seeing the second period of this one. How did that one turn out during their light ball? I just really love that one. They were really been on the strong muscle of the course. They just really are enjoying this so far. Not a lot of most people are just getting away with that. 
But let me tell you this, there's a lot of match for people that are really enjoying. Just to keep an eye on that one for full potential, they really are doing a lot much harder than they can. Even to when the Avalanche really need to get right into work on offense, they just gotta help something out. Right now, Houston Mellow, he will have the bucket right down to Appleton. Hollander gets striked down. Morrissey will have the bucket right now, and he finds Bianc. Looks to Seifella. And Drolin will have the puck taken away. Good poke check here by Drolin. And now back in the offensive zone is Ellis. The offside is whistled as right now it will, swung, it will be changed back and get ready for the faceoff. Setters are gliding in right now as they're about to hit the puck drop. Now it's Byram with the big puck recovery. Here on the right side, and this one goes back in. Here's your rod shot. That went wide off the target. Winnipeg back into the offensive zone. Look for a pass. Shot in behind. Tip it out by Georgia. It's all what they do. I just never seen what it was going to happen like this. That shot gets redirected. Trying to handle the back. And Namzikov. No penalty called on Colorado. Lacroix has the puck here, and now Pionk will have it. Ellis keeps it over to Sandberg. He now gives off to Eiffel, and now Lowry will have it in the middle. Gets the man defending. Lacroix right into the offside of the off, over on the offensive zone. Goes down with the bang. That's a great, a great deflection. Pionk right towards the towards the right, and now Nick Ryder has it back into the offensive zone. With the pass, I follow. First time goal will not be enough as Lekrenin gives it over after Jurgis save. Connor Hellebuck has made another big stop. Nick Ryder can't get the puck back. He's losing pressure out there. Just don't want to get away with that. Saved again by Connor Hellebuck. And he boldly pulled it down. And now full pressure and steam. Saved away. Avalanche still on their run. So you give your time right now as Colton. Here's an arrow for Colton. Right at the tar. Stopped again by Hellebuck. They're already making another big save. They're already big enough. They're trying to get out of here. There is no way that they can't just really get that one straight. I just really have to tell you. He scores. Miles Wood. 79th goal of the season. Has been can take it back with a 5-2 game. That goaltender seemed to be having a difficult time. He never saw that one when it was coming back. And give off to Miles Bruitt. He had it just right away. And it was a little late by Hellebuck with that, with a stick of the leg. That turned about with the save. That was pretty tricky. The hustling of the move has been an inbound here as for Miles Wood has given a single digit of the number step closer and closer. They were trying to figure this out. I mean, he said, go right toward the net and go right in front of it. This is what's definitely the worst thing that nobody has ever seen how they were doing. And that's what the offense is given. It's a good step along the way to just have it all. I'll be watching the Miles Wood to keep their eyes on the shine. Back to you guys. Wood in the middle. Stop the game by Hellebuck. Oh man, the crowd favorite loves Hellebuck. That's what they always can't just say right now. You just don't want to like, take the risk out of it. Open look. Morrissey shot. Went wide off the target. And Connor have it back. Here's an arm for Morrissey. And Morrissey lost the puck. Drolin will have the puck back. Poked it away. Good stop on DeMillo. Back passes over this guy fellow. This guy fellow right into the other uh, side. And no, no penalty is whistled. McKinnon with the puck. Toward the center is Manson. Manson's giving a little bit of hard step in between. Take the rebound and stop by Galaba. He's looking good out there just to keep that one in strength. With another face-off coming up, it's still a 5-2 game. That's right there and there. They need to try to fix or figure something out. And Toes will have a puck. McCarr. Blocked by Perfetti. What an excellent inbound. Take it away. You never mess it up on that one. Toes find McCarr. 
The car right towards the corner. Finally in the center and stop again by the goaltender. Mack over the game to Nemesat Nico. Didn't see where it was going and Zimello has it recovered. Looks at Morrissey and now finds Nemestikov. Looks at Ellert. Shoots it away and it's stopped again by Georgiev. Looks over to Morrissey. Pass back. Nemestikov has lost that puck. Oh, took a big hit right in between. And McKinnon right down. And we'll have Morrissey have over back again. Now Morrissey will have to give it off again. Take the battle, but a loose puck. Back for a nice shot. Had to save me again for the goaltender. Morrissey. Passes disconnected. They're getting like they're going to get tired out there as the icing is whistled on the Jets. Both teams set, ready for the faceoff. They still need some a little bit of advantage to try to keep back into the game. Now here's the win. Gerard the Byram. Blocked it out. Got a good crutch down here, and that one is on Ellers. He's really excellent right now. It's a lot of an achievement. I, I just really have to tell you, not everybody can, but it's a lot that hard. He's all by himself. Lecker will only make a move. Stop the game by Ellerbuck. Stopping it away, what a big moment. The odd man rush was turning out to be a close call. And this range keeps on happening, they still have it again. They're doing it the best they can. I just really tell you that Hellebuck would have almost got wiped it out and he would have been blinded. But not for long, he saved it again. Hellebuck stopped saving. Maroon, Puck carries out of the zone. Now Gerard will have it back. Colorado Amps are taking their way back into this free steaming pressure. Now O'Connor will have that one into the left wing. The right wing, I should, I'm sorry. Shot stopped again here by York by Hellebuck. Olofsson, that's another big textbook save here. Mitch Ryder right into the ops on, on the other side of the circle. I follow shot, stopped by the goaltender. It goes up with Georgia. Winnipeg Jets are back into the offensive zone with only 7-10 to go. Here's Lowry, all alone, shot stopped again by Georgia. Mitch Ryder, and now it will take it over to Adonix. That will be a new goaltender for tonight of the Colorado Avs. It's all what they faced on because a lot of strengthening and bounding by Georgia. He just didn't really think he was going to able to do that one as much. So Georgia is definitely finished right now. And Connor has it back. Here's another look. Do it right over again. Pockets leave that in his own, and now we'll have to swing it back again. Tatar finding it again on Manson. Manson on his way down. Poking the big check. Smith on his way down. And Appleton went way offside. That went behind the blue line in front of him. Now they need to try to fix it with something else out, as right now it's only 6 or 2 remaining. And Johnson will have that one back. Taken away by Connor. Connor, swinging around, up with the move, finding Appleton. And it's next to save by Edwin. Guitar has it back again here by Wood. 5.30 left to remain in the third period. And now here's another one for Tatar. Connor gives it back over to Piaf. Carries it into the offensive zone. Icing whistle here on the Jets with 5-11 remaining. We have the pick. Let's see what Woods really says. I have to say that Nathan McKinnon has gotten a lot of his unstoppable force. He's been able to do one of his biggest games here tonight, guys. But his ultimate is putting out that show. Big handle for the muscle it takes. Here's Drollin, he will have it again to Joe Tokes. 440 left to go in the third period. Into the hustling and bounding, finding and looking at the offensive side, looking over to McKinnon! Oh, Scott Fella! What a blocking save run! He's already been showing up. He's like out of here. He says, bang out! There's no way you can't just stop it again. Start Brennan shot and end them. Take another huge save. Sandberg gets punched back. 
across the line in scrimmage right now. Here's Nanakakar. The car takes the puck away and it's Jonah will have it back. Schmidt watching on him. Takes it over. Rams it in. Block the shot. McCarr in the corner now finds Toes. Ellers lost the puck. Granton and trying to get it back. And try to stop one. Ellipuck. Oh my. He's going to make that one. He can see that one feeling tonight. 3 0 1 remaining in the third. As right now it's a 5 2 game. Still looking for another goal for the Avalanche. Here's Toes. Shot stopped again by Ellipuck. Ellis takes it away. Poked it up. Nichushkin finds McCarr. And it looks like that Nanish Nikov has gotten a great defensive onset. Here's an arm to Smith. Lost that one puck away. Nichushkin right back to the offensive side. Looks over to Lekrene. Shot stopped again by the goaltender. Great impound. Pass to the Dreider. Two minutes remaining in the third period. The Dreider. Just didn't get enough piece of that time. Managed to caught. Had that one stopped by Ennerton. Can't find Stilling. Dillon can't get it to go. Mitruska. Swings it off to Johansson. Poked it up. Nice defensive recovery for the other team. And now they are starting to go big. As right now the time winds down. Just one minute remaining. The pass, the Dreider finds a shot, and it made out a huge save. By Ram back over again to Johansson, and now finds the Chushkin. The extra man skaters are, will not be able to permit that one anytime. Dylan crunched that down. Take a look at this. The Dreider finds again to Gustafson, just the last change up on a switch. In the final five, here's another one for I follow. Drew Rod takes it away. And slapped it. Added it. We'll have that puck save inbound. Only 11.8 seconds. Just getting closer right down to the end of the third. It's a 5 2 game of the Jets. And Gerard will have that one with the win. Taking the puck away. Finds Wood. Pass to Byram. And give off the center. And that's it too. Winnipeg Jets beat out the, the all-star of the American team of the Avalanche. Connor Hellebuck with amazing save and turned out bad. He's always a pressure and you got to love him. He was all dialed up for him. Just sure enough, you can catch for him. It's great to salute our fans. And I say we definitely really enjoy it. Yeah, sure do. And just a bet. You just can't have it all whenever you get there. <laughs> That's true. Amazing to have it back. With me, Fumo, and Lightbulb, along with Wood Spoonie, this has been a presentation of the NHL 24. Thanks for watching, and have a great night. On now, the Terry Crews and the Beats. All for you. All right, thank you so much. So you start off with three star players. Nino the Trainer with a goal, two assists, and four hits. All a touchdown. Has that one in front of it. Turn out big and successful. Second star goes to Connor Hellebuck with 40 saves, 2.04. And your first star goes to Alex Eifeller, two goals and four hits. Would have been easy enough if he gets three in a row with a hat trick. It's amazing how this is, but you all can say is you just have to both go with your own and you have to love it too. They just say, Canadian team got overrated between from the Toronto Maple Leafs and the other team of the Edmonton Oilers as much. Well, we might have to see what goes up next, but you can't just really say what's going on because if there is something happening, you will never know. <laughs> no way. Here's how I did with the total statistic of the games. 42 over 41 total shots on goal. 69 over 39 for Colorado. 1259 over 446 for the Winnipeg Jets. Passing effectiveness is put up 91 percentage over 77. A lot of face-off points for Colorado. No answer to make the call on Winnipeg. And finally, we have four minute penalty kill for the Colorado. Plus a power play, not able to take that one in time, but only the short-handed goal turned out to be for Nathan McKenna. Yeah, that's exactly true. Never seen how this one turned out, what they were all going for. 
they've done a much, much bigger routine than they ever did. And on the other side right now, they have a two minute penalty kill for Winnipeg and they finally have a power play goal with just 2.46 remaining here of the power play minutes. It was all it takes, but the pressure seemed to be craving hitting it off like they always did. And right now, that is it for the second game. Stay tuned for the next one as we've got the Bruins at Seattle to face against the Kraken. And for this one of the team, we'll have to see what's going to happen if there is another choice to turn out big. So with that being said, thank you all for joining us here for the second game of the season opener of the NHL 24. This is Terry Cruz along with Son of Beast. We will see you next time of NHL 24 on EA Sports Style. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out the medias right on the board. It's on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Link in the about page. And we'll see you all later for the next game. Plus the NBA. If you're all into this one, you can't just get away with a lucky moment to start off with the Memphis win. It's definitely what everyone does call for. They just say it isn't boring. Yeah, impossible enough. Never say never. See you all again for the next game, and we'll see you back for another NBA. An amazing today to bring on the world to the America. Thanks for watching and peace out. Till next time, good night in Winnipeg and Colorado. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.